In his Medellin stronghold, Colombia's second biggest city, Alvaro Uribe is still as popular as ever. The former president, who led Colombia for eight consecutive years until 2010, is now running for senator. His campaign looks like a crusade against his former defense minister and successor, Juan Manuel Santos. Uribe accuses him of ruining their hardline policy he had adopted against leftist FARC rebels and of fostering a climate of increased insecurity. El país ha vuelto a sentir que crece el secuestro. The country is going through an increase in kidnappings again. We had gone from a country with 3,000 hostages to a country with a very small number of kidnappings. Last year, it started to rise again. Uribe has taken aim at the peace negotiations underway in Cuba that are trying to bring an end to the 50-year Marxist rebellion. One idea on the table would be to give FARC members political representation. But many of Uribe's supporters say dialogue is not the solution. We want a real peace, not peace on paper, not a show peace, not a peace made who knows where, without knowing what's at stake. With him we got peace, but a peace with authority. Alvaro Uribe's popularity is running high at more than 60 percent, but the constitution forbids him from running for a third term as president. He still hopes that his new party, the Democratic Center, will win enough seats in Congress in the legislative election in March to bring some pressure to bear on the peace negotiations. Si Santo es reelegido, con seguridad que Uribe se puede convertir en, en la figura de la oposición. If Santos is re-elected, Uribe can become the opposition figure, a great opposition figure. And it would be a new phenomenon, because for the past 10 to 12 years in Colombia, it was the left that was the main opposition in Parliament. But many analysts believe it is unlikely, for as much as some miss his hardline tactics, others remember the brutality of his methods and the number of civilians who were caught in the crossfire. And for the moment, polls show that most Colombians still want to give peace talks a chance.